Well, I need to show something. Uh, it appears that some people are trying to replicate PSEC. And my impression is you're going to have to start with the three coil system before you can go any farther because there's far too many variables involved in it. And here, let me show you. I can demonstrate this to you exactly what's going on in three coil and what you have to look for and how you make it work. This lead right here is a piece of ordinary coax, 50 ohm coax. I've pulled it back and I'm using it as merely a coupling to the end of this coil. On this end of the coil, you can see this clip lead is just going down to an earth ground. And it's not even a very good earth ground because it's going through all of the bench and and down through the electrical system to finally get there. But anyway, it is an earth ground. It's not the uh, means neutral. And so we've got this coil laying here, grounded. We've got this capacitive coupling off of the uh, spectrum analyzer. And we can take a look at this. And what you're going to see is this is the FM band here, the FM stereo band. And here's the area you want to look at, right in here. And really you can see uh, noise spikes. Every now and then something that might resemble a, a very weak signal popping up. But nothing, nothing all that exciting. So let me go ahead and make a change now to this system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another L3, or another coil, I'll call them L3s because at least we have some commonality there, but another coil, and in here is a little 1M4148, a diode, and this is just a pigtail that I'm going to hook the ground to. So let me go ahead and connect that and then show you what happens. Okay, so here's where the complexity starts to uh, rear its ugly head. Here I've got the ground lead connected here, and here's a coil, the, uh, this end's open. This end goes through the 1N4148 into this coil I showed at the first. And this coil is actually grounded here. This one's grounded via the diode. And so our coupling arrangement is exactly the same to the spectrum analyzer. And let me get up here now so that you can see what's taking place. Look at this signal right here. This is a result of this particular coil configuration. The spacing between the coils, the SRF of the coils, the fact that we have a diode in there rectifying half of the signal that appears between the two. I can take and move this spacing out of here. I can change this whole thing. Hold on a second. I've got my little move it out here away from that coil. And we can go up here, and we do not have our signal. So let me go ahead and move that back in. Let me zoom out of here and get it to where, where my signal, there we go. Okay, there's our signal again. So if you're never going to be able to see anything like that, from a coil or a set of coils, you're never going to get any farther. There's no sense in even wasting your time. This is exactly what I'm showing here. It's exactly what I'm amplifying, working with, to generate a PSEC. So this is kind of what you have to look for. Forget the frequency, because the frequency is going to be dependent upon the coils, the pigtail length, the length of the ground wire, the environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, etc. So forget the frequency, just look for a signal. And you work from there. But the whole goal of the process is to obtain this signal and keep improving it by getting your coils closer, shortening or lengthening your leads, moving the spacing closer or farther away while you're watching that signal, and as you get to the last point where you can't improve it anymore, you go to the third coil and you progress from there.